So then what's like the application process behind actually getting into the school? Like, do you need to have like a level of post-secondary? Do you need a high school diploma? Do you it, need? It varies um, by different states. So I have my bachelor's degree um, and then I, I, I live and work in Illinois. And um, so it's different for each state. For Illinois, you had to have uh, just one, I think, one year of college credit and so many gen eds and then you're eligible for school. So, so some of the youngest students were like 19 uh, 19, 20 years old. Um, but it was a good, most people were like mid twenties to early thirties and then like up to forties and fifties. Um, so that's that. But then one of my classmates was from Minnesota and, uh, to work in Minnesota, you need to have a bachelor's degree already before you can go to mortuary school. And then, so she had her master's degree too. So she was more than qualified for it at that point too. So it varies, um, state to state. Interesting. And then like, what is the course load like once you actually get accepted into school? The school I went to, it's an accelerated program. So it's a a one year course, you know, and it goes through the summer and everything. Um, and, uh, and it's busy. So you have, um, I can't, it's a few years back now, but you have, uh, you have like 10 classes a day and it's, it stays pretty busy. So, and it's, it's the science side and then, uh, what they call the arts. Um, but under the arts is more like law and accounting and, uh, and things like that. And the science is more the embalming and restorative art, chemistry, things like that. 